everyone, thanks for joining me here today. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I did this sketch without any idea of what I was going to do. I just opened the app. I didn't know if I was going to paint, sketch, draw. I got no plan about composition, uh, no thumbnail sketches or anything to help me. I just went in and started scribbling. And this is how I did it. This is going to be a drawing in Corel Painter 2019. I've got a fairly reasonable size canvas, 20 inch by 16 inch by 300 pixels per inch. And I'm gonna call this picture the cornfield. Um, I didn't really have any idea what I was gonna do when I started this. So uh, this is the photo that uh, I'm working from. And I start off just using a dirty terps or dirty oil paintbrush to get this kind of texture thing going off uh, to cover the canvas really quickly. And then I decide that I, I didn't want to paint at all. I wanted to do a pencil drawing. And really what I wanted to do was just scribble a bit. So you'll see some very random pencil marks uh, going off here. We're sort of just getting in those distant trees and things. And I just let the pencil meander over the canvas, just scribbling away. You can see there, I'm just sort of putting in all of this um, color, really bright, sort of dusty oranges and things, just to get a sort of a, a feeling uh, for the background and that kind of uh, the field full of corn or hay or whatever it is. I'm not really sure what it is. Darkening up the colours again and just sort of doing lots of ran random etching. Well, I don't guess it, I don't suppose it's too random. Then I start looking at the sort of highlights and pencil in those in. I have got no plan at all with this drawing this is just one of those things when i really wanted to do something but i didn't know what i wanted to do i hadn't really got uh, an idea of a painting in mind as yet i've sort of got a few uh, paintings uh in in the sort of pipeline but nothing that i really wanted to start today so i'm just sort of letting the pencil go I'm just going with the flow and seeing where it takes me really so I've got no idea what this is going to turn out like when it was finished I didn't know if I was going to fill it with a multitude of colors or was I going to stick to a um, complementary color scheme or something the way it's going at the minute it looks like it might be full of lots and lots of colors um, I don't really know so I kind of just start sketching in I, I've got no plan at all so I start sketching in these um, leaves in the foreground because I felt that I, I, I started off doing the, the 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 small sort of tall branches and things that were in, uh, sort of going off to the top of the painting then I came down to, uh, to put some of the lower ones in and it, every time I looked at the um, source photo, I, was, I forgot which leaf I was actually looking at. So some of the leaves, are, uh, in the end, I was just making them up, really. I didn't uh, um, try to, to get it exactly like the um, sketch. Uh, sorry, like the photo. And here you can see now I'm really going for it, scribbling in some colours. I wanted to uh, sort of get the, this sort of depth of field and get these dark tones in the foreground really quick so I'm sort of scribbling away I'm using Corel Painter here now when I started using it it was all right for the first 25-30 minutes I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever and then after a while it started to play up and it was sort of putting random lines going right across the canvas you won't see them in this uh, sketch because I've uh, sort of edited them out. And it was really frustrating. And it was getting to the point where I was um, having to stop every two minutes 
and reboot Corel Painter because it was um, not only sort of putting in these random lines on there, once it put the random line in, the app locked up and I couldn't, it, it took ages before it would unlock so I could undo uh, this line to save it because if I just sort of closed the app, I would lose everything I'd done till the um, time when it sort of crashed out and put these random lines in. And as I say, at first it was all right. I wasn't having any problems. And all of a sudden it started to happen every 10 minutes. Then it was every five minutes. And in the end, uh, I was sort of looking at the recorder and it was sort of less than two minutes it kept happening. And it came really, really frustrating. So I don't know what's happening with Corel Painter. Um, I've had a, I've had this issue before, and I changed some settings um, in the preferences of the app where I changed compatibility or something, and that cured it. So I went into that, uh, just made no difference whatsoever. So in the end, um, you'll see that I swap over from Corel Painter finish it in art rage and i had no issues whatsoever in art rage so there's a big win there for art rage over corolle painter i mean i've never used corolle painter to draw with before so i mean that's how um unprepared i was with this drawing and i i didn't know what i was going to do and i actually surprised myself that um i i've chose to do the pencil drawing in uh, Corel Painter. The cool thing about digital drawing, I mean, this is all done on one layer, um, but the really cool thing about it is you can overlay color on top of color with etching. You can put the darkest dark and then go over it with the lightest light and just keep building it up, building it up. So you can add leaf after leaf after leaf. Now you couldn't do that with, a pencil, a traditional pencil, you quickly get um, bogged down with sort of the colours becoming very muddy and you won't be able to sort of, after a while, the paper would become sort of shiny, it'd lose its tooth and you wouldn't, it just wouldn't be able to get any more colour on and it would just be a nightmare. So I really like that about digital drawing. You can just sort of draw a leaf, then put another one over the top of it to get layers and layers and layers. You don't even have to create layers. You know, you can just keep keep going. And that's what I've done here. I've just created, you can see there, look, I'm drawing in another leaf now, sort of shading it in, etching it in, and then etch over that again. And just building it up with lots of etch lines and scribbles. And there you can see another one going in. So it was... Once I got into the flow and I knew what I was doing, I started to uh, enjoy it and get a feel uh, for what I was doing. But honestly, there was no uh, reason or rhyme to this. It really was an experiment. Just me going off on one, on a little adventure uh, to discover what my hand would do, really. Not, I hadn't thought about composition tonal quality anything I hadn't got a concept I wasn't trying to tell a story or anything it's just just a, a meandering of pencil work sort of scribbling away um, happily drawing this um, scene well happily it was happy until Corel Painter kept crashing on me and then it became very frustrating but once I went into um Art rage, everything was okay again, and uh, I was much happier. So the colours seem to have uh, toned down a little bit now, and what I mean by that is, I'm sort of settling into this greeny orange colour scheme with some dark shadows leaning towards purple, and that's the sort of palette I'm working with. So sort of a complementary colour scheme I guess to a certain extent putting more leaves in the foreground I, I just sort of uh, put some lighter lines in the background to sort of show how the light was catching the field in the distance 
still in Corel Painter. I think we're coming to the end of the Corel Painter bit now. And um, I will be uh, going into Art Rage. Here we are. So now I'm in Art Rage. And uh, here we go again. Putting in more, more detail in the foreground. And I draw these uh, leaves in and then I etch over them to sort of um, knock them back a bit so they're sort of in shadow. So you can see one going in there, uh, putting some lights and then I'll probably etch over it just to knock it back a bit and um, send it into the background. Then I start sort of just skipping over the all of the drawing, adding little bits of colour, uh, flecks of colour for sort of um, grasses, I suppose, just sort of popping out of the field. I was trying to think what I could call them then. And just popping little bits of detail. Then I decide that the sky needed uh, a bit of treatment. It looked odd that I just left that as that sort of oily wash. And I wanted some pencil work on it. So um, I etched that in. And I'm just sort of going over it now, sharpening up details. Uh, and I put um, a really bright, warm yellow, uh, just picking out lots of the leaves, just to give it the impression that the sun's really uh, catching it. Go a little bit crazy with that. Then back to the dark colours. Put in a few more shadows in, out, outlining one or two of those leaves and uh, putting shadows on there and get it signed. And that is my uh, sketchy adventure finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully... I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.